Like, what's up, you guys? My name is Adam. I'm the artist behind the Lucidity Project, and I'm super grateful to be here talking to you guys right now. So I'm from a little town called Nevada City. It's in like the foothills of the Sierra Nevada mountains. It's this beautiful little hippie town. From kindergarten to eighth grade, I was in a Waldorf charter school, so we were graded equally on creativity as we were on math and science and everything. So I had a blast doing art ever since I was a kid. And then probably like the end of high school, I started seeing these crazy talented 3D artists on Instagram and the stuff they could do just really blew the doors off my imagination. So then I started learning 3D and I've self-taught myself how to use Cinema 4D, which is like my favorite 3D program and I love it. I always wanted to live in the city. I always wanted to be like a city kid, but I grew up in this small town. At the beginning, my art was really urban, uh, metallic and edgy. Now that I've gotten more experienced in it and I've lived in a city, I, I really have appreciation for the nature. And so I think my art is influenced a lot by the nature that I grew up in and kind of like the watercolor artistic style of the school I went to. As soon as I have an idea, I'll try to jot it down as a doodle because once you get into the 3D program, everything's so structured and complicated that it's hard. You start to actually like limit your creative vision to account for the fact that you don't want this to take you like 30 hours because at the beginning of a project, things can look daunting. So that's why a doodle is much better because you can create a mountain in like a second instead of having to spend five to 20 minutes on it. Um, I love this quote that an artistic friend gave me. He said, structure is like a daily vitamin for creativity. And it's hard to work without any structure. If you're just floating, you don't really have anything constraining you, that's not so good. So what I'll do sometimes, I'll remove half of the colors in my coloring book, or um, I'll only give myself five minutes to create something or 15 minutes. There's two major things. One is to stop trying to be like the rest of people. The only way to be original is to do something that you really feel even if you don't know if people are gonna like it. If you see people that are doing something that you do wanna be able to do, then take the time, even if it's painful and slow at first, to try to copy it exactly or to try to get as close as possible to what they've accomplished. And it's super painful when you don't know the program. You stub your toe every like 10 seconds, but it's amazing once you figure out how they've built it because when, once you're at that point and you've like replicated something that somebody else did that you used to idolize, then you can take all that and create something completely new with the freedom and comfort that, that you didn't have before. When people see my work, I wanna take them somewhere they've never been before. I feel like my purpose in this life is to create the most outstanding visual experiences in tandem with music that the world has ever seen. So I really started taking 3D seriously because I wanted to work with a few specific musicians. I've always seen visuals in my head when I hear music and especially like really sick EDM music has always given me these epic visuals that I really wanted to create in high detail and big screens at festival stages because I, I want to be able to factor in like all the different screens and create these super immersive experiences, potentially even working with the lighting team to just like get like everything pumping right on beat. That's what I've always seen in my head, like these worlds where like the mushrooms are like bouncing with the beat and you've got like the, the waves and the ocean all flowing with the sound. I actually found out about Lucidity years ago because I had a sudden urge to go down and sit on the edge of the ocean in Santa Barbara at sunset and doodle. And there was this dude who was like juggling some juggling pins and I like gave him like the nod like yeah that's cool dude and he gave me the nod back like I see you drawing and we were both doing our thing and then we we kept doing it and then he ended up coming over and we ended up chatting and it turns out he built stages for a group called Start Project that was run by this super cool guy named Fish and I started talking to him about doing cool stuff with live visuals on stage and I started shooting videos for them and they got me into Lucidity two years in a row and it was like super fun, amazing experience. My favorite festival of all time is Lightning in a Bottle and Lucidity feels like a baby lightning in a bottle. It's just like more communal and cozy and it's nestled in the mountains of Santa Barbara so it's just super peaceful. I loved it. So this project, 
I was introduced to by a guy named Jesse, who introduced me to the guy named Jonah, who's running the whole thing. And if you don't know, Jonah's like the, the genius behind this whole mythos, uh, the Lucidity Music Festival and all the creatures and everything. It was Christmas Eve during COVID. I was away from my family, missing them. So I went back down to the same spot on the edge of the ocean, and I ended up seeing this guy shooting a time-lapse of the sunset. It turns out he's a cinematographer that shoots real estate in Santa Barbara. The guy he shares his office with is this guy named Jesse, and I ended up doing a few commercials in collaboration with Jesse. I did the 3D stuff for him. Turns out Jesse's been playing poker with Jonah for years. And when I said Jesse, my new 3D projects, he's like, dude, this is sick. I'm gonna show Jonah. And then he showed Jonah and Jonah's like, I wanna do this NFT project and here we are. What gets me really excited about this project and what seems to set it apart from other projects I've seen in the space is that it's bringing people together in real life. And I think that's a beautiful thing. There's only a few things that I go to bed at the end of the day feeling like really happy and inspired by. And one is creating some dope art. Two is like making some new connection. And three is just like meeting a real human in the real world that I connected with. That's like an amazing feeling. I think we all need it. We're social creatures. So it's really cool that this project is bringing people together at a music festival and also taking people on like journeys to distant lands, literally in like on the planet Earth, like they're flying people to beautiful places and also giving people a way to have some residual income. Like all of those things really inspired me to be a part of it because it doesn't just feel like it's only art. It's so much more than that. And beyond that, like the story that Jonah's telling, that Lucidity's telling with the different creatures and the, the mythos and his plan to have us be able to partake in this journey more down the line, all seems really expiring and cool. 